but I beseech you that I may not be bold when I am present with that confidence wherewith I think to be bold against some which think of us as if we walk according to the flesh. Although we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. Israelites, the time have come for you to understand that the Most High is not coming to rescue you without you doing your part. The synagogue of Satan corrupt the minds of the people through religious falsehoods. The mother harlot, the Roman Catholic Church, built a following deceiving the people. They made billions of people believe that the Roman God would do everything for the people that believe in him. As long as they believe he's God the Father in the flesh, he will take their sins away. They will be raptured out of here to live in the heavens. The people don't have to endure any hardship nor face any real consequences for their actions. The blood of the Roman God have cleansed them and they will live in eternity in the heavens. Israelites, the fairy tales told to you in religion have destabilized you. If the promises made by the Roman God were true, the very people that followed this God wouldn't be oppressed by demons. Too many Israelites and indigenous black people believe the Most High will fight their battles without them having to lift a finger. Just because the Most High said to our ancestors that was dealing with a multitude coming to fight them that the battle is not theirs, Jehoshaphat and the entire kingdom of Judah had to pray fast and seek the face of the most high to get the help that they needed and he said hearken ye o judah and ye inhabitants of jerusalem and thou king Jehoshaphat. thus saith the lord unto you be not afraid nor dismayed by reason of this great multitude for the battle is not yours but god's the most high didn't intervene solely by his people's faith in him Jehoshaphat served the Most High. Jehoshaphat's faith in the Most High didn't save him from the multitude that rose against him and his people. Jehoshaphat knew he had no might to fight against the great multitude that was descending upon him and his people. Just like today, the Israelites and the indigenous black people have no might to stand against their enemies. Every time they rally to make a difference, the synagogue of Satan find a way to destabilize them. Jehoshaphat humbled himself and seek the face of the Most High for answers. He called for his people to fast and pray. Our ancestors' faith and obedience to the Most High wasn't going to get them the help that they needed to fight against the great multitude. Our ancestors had to do their part by praying and fasting. And Jehoshaphat feared and set himself to seek the Lord and proclaimed a fast throughout all Judah. And Judah gathered themselves together to ask help of the Lord. Even out of all the cities of Judah, they came to seek the Lord. Praying and fasting gave the Israelites the opportunity to make their petition known to the Most High. The Father was able to give his people instructions on how to handle the multitude descending upon them when they seek his face. Our ancestors at that time didn't sit around waiting on King Jesus to fight their battles. Nor did any of them say the Most High got this and ignored the multitude. Our ancestors living in Jehoshaphat's generation didn't rely on the Messiah they knew was coming to deliver them from their troubles. Many Israelites from the Christian faith will always say God got them. The blood of Jesus will save them. Some will say the grace of the Most High is sufficient. They believe their faith will conquer all, including their oppressors. Majority of Israelites and Gentiles expect the Most High to fight for them and save them by faith alone. The scriptures in the authorized Bible said, faith without works is dead. Even so faith, if it hath not works, is dead, being alone. Did you hear the scriptures? Faith alone is dead. There's no way your faith alone in the Most High will cause a devil to flee from you. Many of you have been deceived by the disciples of Satan disguising themselves as ministers of righteousness. 
is through the Christian doctrines. So many Israelites and Gentiles are being defeated by the kingdom of darkness. Most of them don't even consider fasting, praying, and praising the most high in the mix of trouble. Majority of them are quick to say Jesus will fight for them and ignore their situation. Meanwhile, many of them are under heavy demonic oppression because they failed to do their part in their deliverance. Our ancestors in the time of Jehoshaphat was waiting for the Messiah to come as well. We are not the only generation waiting for the word of God to come. Many generations waited for the appearance of the deliverer. While they waited, none of them put the burden of their daily troubles on the word of God. Our ancestors prayed to the father for help. After they prayed, fast, and praised, they waited to hear from the most high. The Most High said, if his people that are called by his name would humble themselves and pray and seek his face, turn from their wicked ways, then he will hear from heaven and forgive their sins and heal their land. If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sin, and will heal their land. The scriptures you just heard gave us instructions on how to get help from the Most High. The first command was to pray, followed by with seek his face. You cannot fight against your enemies without consulting with the Most High. Your enemies have an army of flesh. You have an army of spirit fighting for you. You must consult with the leader to that army to know how to respond on the battlefield. The scriptures went on to say, turn from your wicked ways. In other words, repent. The father said he will hear you from heaven and heal your land and forgive your sins. The instructions given in the scripture said nothing about faith. The scriptures give you instructions on important steps you must take to get the help that you need. Simply believing like the heathens have indoctrinated you with in their pagan religion is not going to get you the help that you need. That is why our people are perishing in the land of their enemies because the idols of the heathens are deceiving them. And they shall fall one upon another as it were before a sword for none pursueth. And ye shall have no power to stand before your enemies and ye shall perish among the heathen and the land of your enemies shall eat you up. Never in our nation's history did our ancestors put the burden of their troubles as a nation and personal persecution on the word of God that was coming. They would seek the face of the Most High, the Father, for answers and for help. Our ancestors understood the prophecy about the word of God becoming flesh for the generation alive at that time. Although they knew he was coming, they seek the face of the Most High for the troubles they were dealing with. Today, many Israelites and Gentiles will put the burden of their troubles on the Messiah while they do nothing about the threat or persecution that is taking place in their lives. In this generation, the synagogue of Satan have Israelites and Gentiles looking to the Messiah that came in his own name to do everything, including being held accountable for their sins. As long as the synagogue of Satan have the people believing the Roman God will do everything for them, the people who follow the Christian faith will live an oppressed life and be destroyed by the very people that gave them that religious faith. You heard in the scriptures, faith without works is dead. You must do your part in your deliverance. Being a believer alone is not going to save you from demonic oppression. The scripture said the devils will flee if you resist them and submit to the most high. Submit yourselves therefore to God. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. The scripture you just heard didn't say you being a believer and having great faith will cause a devil to flee. You must resist the devils, submit to the most high and the devils will flee. Israelites and Gentiles, you can't escape not doing anything. The synagogue of Satan convinced many to put their salvation in the hands of the greatest idol of all time, the Roman God. With billions allowing the Messiah that came in his own name to work out their salvation, the land of their enemies are eating them up. The scriptures clearly said, you must work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. 
Wherefore, my beloved, as ye have always obeyed, not as in my presence only, but now much more in my absence, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. Today, the indigenous black people are the forerunners to the Christian religion. Some will disown and cast away their family members and friends that don't share the Christian belief. The Israelites and Gentiles that follow the Christian faith are under heavy demonic oppression. Their lives are destroyed everywhere they live in this world. The indigenous black people are the most exploited and least protected from their peers, from the other species of mankind and all of its subgroups that follow the same religion and God. The Israelites and Gentiles in this generation are not seeking the Most High, the Father. They are seeking the Messiah that came in his own name that the synagogue of Satan led them into believing is God the Father in the flesh. Say ye of him whom the Father has sanctified and sent into the world, thou blasphemest because I said I am the Son of God? With all of the faith the people place on the Roman God, the Roman God can't help them from the unclean spirits that are oppressing them daily. The spirit of poverty, lust, backwardness, setback, delay, demotion, untimely death, witchcraft, division, hate, jealousy, pride, envy, discrimination, and vanity is oppressing the people. There are countless other spirits oppressing the people. Remember, everything is a spirit. If the people allow the Holy Spirit to guide them into all truth, they will soon learn that the Roman God is the gateway to the unclean spirits oppressing them. Our ancestors knew to call on the Most High, the Father, for help. Israelites, you must know the importance of crying out to the Most High, the Father, for assistance in every battle. The Father will command the Word of God to help you. Never have I read in the authorized Bible of Jacob telling his sons to wait on the Messiah to help them. Jacob's sons knew they had to seek the face of the God of their fathers. Jacob's sons prophesied to their children about the word of God and his mission. And now fear the Lord, my children, and beware of Satan and his spirits. Draw near unto God and unto the angel that interceded for you, for he is a mediator between God and men. And for the peace of Israel, he shall stand up against the kingdom of the enemy. Until the Lord visit you, when with perfect heart ye repent and walk in all of his commandments, and he bring you up from captivity among the Gentiles. And after these things shall a star rise to you from Jacob in peace. Even by the God of thy father who shall help thee, and by the Almighty who shall bless thee with blessings of heaven above, blessings of the deep that lieth under, blessings of the breasts and of the womb, our ancestors knew they had to cry out to the God of Israel for help, despite being aware of the Messiah's coming. Today, the high-level workers of iniquity created doctrines and religion to get the people to rely on the God of this world for everything they need. The disciples of Satan discouraged the people from seeking the Father. The foundational beliefs of the Christian faith is that Jesus is God and you must accept him as your Lord and Savior to be saved. The people who believe this to be true don't look past the Roman God. Everything they do, they do it unto the Roman God. With Israelites being taught to rely on the God of this world for everything, they have no idea how to deal with spiritual warfare. Some Israelites became overwhelmed when they learned last week that the battle is ongoing. Many Israelites and Gentiles like the idea of someone else doing the work for them. That is the reason so many flock to the Christian religion. Satan is able to deceive them into believing they don't have to do nothing but believe. Israelites and Gentiles, you can believe all you want. Your belief is not going to stop a spiritual attack. Peter believed the Messiah was the Son of God. The Most High revealed this to Peter. Peter's faith and belief didn't stop Satan from using him to interfere with the Messiah's mission on earth. From that time forth began Jesus to show unto his disciples how that he must go into Jerusalem and suffer many things of the elders and chief priests and scribes and be killed and be raised again the third day. Then Peter took him and began to rebuke him, saying, Be it far from thee, Lord, this shall not be under thee. But he turned and said unto Peter, Get thee behind me, Satan, thou art an offense unto me, for thou savorest not the things that be of God, 
those that be of men. Israelites, just because you're righteous, it doesn't mean you won't be under spiritual attacks. You will be tested and trialed. None of us are exempt. The workers of iniquity and religion made the people feel untouchable. That is why many hide behind, touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm. Saying, touch not mine anointed and do my prophets no harm. Some people actually believe that's all it takes for a devil to flee. Many Israelites and Gentiles believe if they say this verse, the devils will flee. Also, they think it will prevent other people from attacking them. Many of you who believe you're the most high's anointed and repeating the verse that say, do my prophets no harm will stop unclean spirits from oppressing you. You're probably under demonic oppression unawares. Not everyone that is teaching or appear to be righteous are anointed. The scripture said many are called, but only a few are chosen. Well, many are called, but few are chosen. Only a select few was chosen to do the will of the Most High. Not everyone was given the gift of prophecy. There are many gifts of the Spirit. The scriptures that say, touch not my anointed and do my prophet no harm are for the true anointed prophets of the Most High that are being persecuted for speaking the words of the Most High. In addition to quoting scriptures, you still have to seek the Most High through prayer and fasting. You still have to do your part. To the Israelites and Gentiles that believe if you hide behind Jesus, no devil is able to attack you. Why are so many in the awakening and out of the awakening that serve Jesus are demonically oppressed? None of us are exempt. Even Satan came to oppress the Messiah through his disciples. Satan tempted the Messiah while he was fasting. Then was Jesus led up of the spirit into the wilderness to be tempted of the devil. And when he had fasted 40 days and 40 nights, he was afterward and hungered. And when the tempter came to him, he said, If thou be the Son of God, command that these stones be made bread. The synagogue of Satan through religion made many of you feel untouchable with King Jesus. The Messiah wasn't exempt from being oppressed when he was flesh. The Messiah was fasting when he was tempted. What do you believe would happen to you? The time have come for you to understand that you have a role to play in your deliverance. The Messiah is not going to do everything for you. Israelites, you can live a righteous life. The kingdom of darkness will attack you. If they can't oppress you, they will use the people around you to attack and oppress you. A person who use divination or familiar spirits can look into your life to see your destiny. If the worker of iniquity like what they see, they will attack you to steal your destiny. They call this destiny swapping. You can be a person that is favored by the Most High and the Father bless the works of your hands. Someone can become envious and attack you. That is why it's a constant battle. Israelites, you have to understand that you live on a battlefield. The scripture said Satan have come down to us because he knows that he has a short time. Therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil has come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. If the workers of iniquity in your family are not attacking you, know that the Satans will attack you. If you read the book of Adam and Eve, you will know that Satan waged war against Adam and his seed. Therefore, the attacks are ongoing. That is why you need to know how to fight back. The reason some Israelites became overwhelmed by hearing the attacks are ongoing, religion never taught the people how to deal with spiritual warfare. If they did, you wouldn't view spiritual warfare as a burden. You would see it as a defense mechanism or your spiritual sword. Because spiritual warfare is new for some of you, it's too much. You have to engage in spiritual warfare to activate the army of the Most High. The heathens have an army of flesh, which is why every country have an army or some sort of military to defend their country. As a scattered people exiled from our land, our military is the army of the Most High. In order to activate that army, praying, fasting, and praising is required. Your faith alone is not enough. You have to do your works by praying and fasting. If your sacrifice was accepted, the army of the Most High will be with you. 
The eyes of the flesh won't see the army. If the Most High opened your eyes, you will see the army like Elijah's servant saw when the Most High opened his eyes. Therefore sent he thither horses and chariots and a great host. And they came by night and compassed the city about. And when the servant of the man of God was risen early and gone forth, behold, an host compassed the city both with horses and chariots. And his servant said unto him, Alas, my master, how shall we do? And he answered, Fear not, for they that be with us are more than they that be with them. And Elisha prayed and said, Lord, I pray thee, open his eyes that he may see. And the Lord opened the eyes of the young man, and he saw, and behold, the mountain was full of horses and chariots of fire round about Elisha. There are more with us than with the heathen's army of flesh. None can stand against the army of the Most High. As a spiritual people, we have to pray, fast, and praise to get help. The more you fast and pray, the easier it becomes. Because the disciples of Satan made fasting appear to be something only certain righteous people engage in, many people view fasting as a practice reserved for spiritual leaders. Before the other species of mankind colonized the indigenous black people and gave them religion, our ancestors had altars. They fast and pray. It only became obsolete when the heathens inserted themselves. We cannot follow religious doctrines to get help from the Most High. The high-level workers of iniquity said, believe. Many indigenous Black people are believers, yet look at their life. Many are perishing among the heathens. Instead of religion equipping the people to win against the kingdom of darkness, religion disarmed the people. Another reason the battle is ongoing, some Israelites fail to understand that the devil can return. Just because you cast out a devil, it doesn't mean the devil won't return. When the unclean spirit is gone out of a man, he walketh through dry places seeking rest, and findeth none. Then he saith, I will return into my house from whence I came out. And when he is come, he findeth it empty, swept, and garnished. Then goeth he, and taketh with himself seven other spirits more wicked than himself. And they enter in and dwell there. And the last state of that man is worse than the first. Even so shall it be also unto this wicked generation. Some of you are led to believe once you cast out a devil is gone forever. That is false. The devil will wait for another opportunity. Like the scripture said, if it can't enter, it will bring other spirits more wicked than itself to challenge you. If you know how to fight back, you will be able to send the devils back to where they came from. Last week, we focused a lot on hidden covenants, giving the Satans the opportunity to attack you. Sin invite unclean spirits into your life as well. Sin is the gateway unto how many people return to spiritual bondage. If the Most High delivered you from the spirit of fornication and you decided to watch porn, that is inviting the spirit of fornication into your life again. Sin will cause many of you to become spiritually bound. Israelites, when dealing with spiritual warfare, true repentance must take place in your life. Repenting is turning away from the sin that caused you to transgress the laws of the Most High. Like I said to you before, if you engage in spiritual warfare frequently, it becomes easier. Everything becomes easier when it becomes a part of your routine. As a scattered people, our offense and defense is spiritual warfare. We live in the land of our captivity, in the lands of our enemies. The enmity the other species of mankind have towards us will cause them to attack. They have been attacking the indigenous black people from the very beginning. The scripture said they conspired against us to cut us off from being a people. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people and consulted against thy hidden ones. They have said, Come, and let us cut them off from being a nation, that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. But they have consulted together with one consent. They are confederate against thee. Israelites, you have to understand this truth. You're not living in a society that wants to cohabitate with you. They want to eliminate you. They want to enslave you. 
That is why they will gaslight you and pretend to be your allies while behind the scenes they are conspiring against you. When the heathens starts to reject the privilege given to them by the synagogue of Satan, in addition, they choose to be oppressed like the indigenous black people. Maybe you have some allies. I don't see the heathens by the majority rejecting good loans with low interest rates to support the indigenous black people. They would take the high appraisals on their home despite their house not valued at that amount to increase their wealth while undervaluing your home to keep you in poverty. The heathens will continue to celebrate their idols and invite you to celebrate their idols with them, knowing that is an offense to your God. You need to start to view the world as a battlefield. You have to be ready every day, which is why the scriptures told us to put on the armor of the Most High, as well as to be vigilant. Be sober, be vigilant. Because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about seeking whom he may devour. If the Israelites and the indigenous black people were vigilant and wearing the armor of the Most High, they would see an attack coming. Because the God of this world had blind their eyes, many Israelites won't see the attack until it's too late. Israelites, some devils will flee from you through prayer. Devils that don't have a stronghold on your life will flee with a fervent prayer, repenting, and with praise. In the spirit realm, little devils that don't have much of an influence in your life will appear tiny. You will see yourself killing it by stepping on it. These types of devils are either new or they don't have much of a hold on your life. A fervent prayer will cast them out. However, there are devils that can only come out through prayer and fasting. Albeit this kind goeth not out, but by prayer and fasting. Some Israelites and Gentiles are only praying against devils that can only come out through prayer and fasting. Stubborn spirits like marine spirits require a lot of fasting. You can't fast one time and expect a stubborn spirit that had been involved in your life for years will flee through one session of fasting. You will have to do multiple fasting to get stubborn spirits to flee. Marine spirits are responsible for all sexual sins, including the sin of homosexuality. This spirit is rampant in the beast culture today. Most people don't see marine spirits. When they see a person from the alphabet community, they are led to believe the most high approve of their lifestyle, despite the most high saying in the scriptures, no homosexual will enter the kingdom. Do you not know that the unrighteous will not inherit the kingdom of God? Do not be deceived. Neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor homosexuals, nor sodomites. Diddy had a strong marine spirit on him. Most people won't see the marine spirit influencing him. They see a man with a fetish. The people are not trained to view the world in that perspective, which is why unclean spirits are operating freely in their life, their governments and country. The people have no knowledge. We are dealing with principalities and powers. The kingdom of darkness is able to blind the minds of many people to keep them from seeing the devils influencing them daily. Israelites, the time have come for you to open your eyes. Ask the Most High for a double portion of the spirit of discernment to understand your environment. Remember, Satan and his angels was cast down to this earth. You live among devils. And the great dragon was cast out, an old serpent called the devil and Satan, which deceiveth the whole world. He was cast out into the earth, and his angels were cast out with him. Israelites, when you begin to see the world you live in as a battlefield, you will understand why you must rise and take an active role in your deliverance. No matter how the religion called Christianity make it seem as if believing will make you invisible to demonic attacks, no one is exempt from spiritual attacks. Simply believing without doing your part by praying, fasting, and praising the Most High won't work. When the Messiah was flesh, he prayed and fasted to be able to do the will of the Most High on the earth. The Messiah said to the people that it's the Most High that is operating in him to do his work. Believest thou not that I am in the Father and the Father in me? The words that I speak unto you I speak not of myself. But the father that dwelleth in me, he doeth the works. Why would religion make you believe faith without works will cause a devil to flee? 
Being a believer, don't stop a devil from attacking you. You must pray, fast, repent, and praise to see the hands of the Most High. As a people, we must return to the Father so that the Father can return to us. Every time our ancestors returned to the Father and burned down the evil altars, they saw the hands of the Most High in their life. Our ancestors were strong and their enemies couldn't prevail against them. The moment our ancestors went astray, their enemies destroyed them. The Most High would say to our people, go cry to the gods you put over yourself and let them deliver you. Go and cry unto the gods which ye have chosen. Let them deliver you in the time of your tribulation. Notwithstanding the Lord turned not from the fierceness of his great wrath, wherewith his anger was kindled against Judah because of all the provocations that Manasseh had provoked him withal. And the Lord said, I will remove Judah also out of my sight, as I have removed Israel, and will cast off this city Jerusalem which I have chosen, and the house of which I said, My name shall be there. Behold, I will make Jerusalem a cup of trembling unto all the people round about, when they shall be in the siege both against Judah and against Jerusalem. And in that day will I make Jerusalem a burdensome stone for all people. All that burden themselves with it shall be cut in pieces, though all the people of the earth be gathered together against it. In that day, saith the Lord, I will smite every horse with astonishment and his rider with madness. And I will open mine eyes upon the house of Judah, and will smite every horse of the people with blindness. And the governors of Judah shall say in their heart, The inhabitants of Jerusalem shall be my strength in the Lord of hosts their God. We are perishing in the land of our captivity because we are crying out to idols for help. Israelites, let the stories in the scriptures be an example to this generation. We have to learn from the mistakes of our ancestors. We clearly see in the scriptures how our ancestors had the help of the Most High when they serve him and seek his face. The moment they serve idols, their life was destroyed. This is a constant repetition with the Israelite nation. As their descendants, we don't have to keep going around in circles. We can triumph over the kingdom of darkness if we serve our God. Israelites, be careful about returning to your Christian roots or returning to your vomit because you don't want to do the necessary work to be free from demonic oppression and from the control of the synagogue of Satan. I know the hidden covenants that are established through demonic altars around the beast system can be exhausting. The Most High gave us a way out, repenting, praying, Fasting, praising will help us combat the devils that come to attack us in our sleep and in the physical realm. You have to be willing to do your part. Don't let the synagogue of Satan deceive you through the God of this world's false promises. Being a believer is not enough. You must do your part. Therefore also now, saith the Lord, turn ye even to me with all your heart, and with fasting, and with weeping, and with mourning. The Most High requests for his people to return to him with all of their heart and with fasting and weeping. If you truly return to serve the Most High in the spirit and in truth, fasting will be a part of your spiritual journey. The Most High asks for his people to return to him with fasting. Israelites, if you include fasting in your routine, you will see the Most High. Israelites, don't let unclean spirits make you feel spiritual warfare is too much. Spiritual warfare was given to you by the Most High. This is your weapon of war. Don't allow the Satans to poison your mind with imaginations that are against the commands of the Most High. Cast down all the wicked imaginations that rise against the words of the Most High. Casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of God and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. Israelites, you're oppressed because religion led you astray from the Most High. With you being separated from the Most High, it gave the kingdom of darkness the opportunity it needed to indoctrinate you as well as to put you into spiritual bondage. The gospel of the kingdom, the truth, is here to help set you free. The time have come for you to nourish your spirit while slaying devils that come against you. The people of the Most High must learn to send the devils back to where they came from every time they come to tempt you. 
Israelites were no longer in religion. We shouldn't look to their doctrines for guidance on how to serve the God of Israel. It's the job of the Holy Spirit to bring all things to our remembrance. If you truly return to serve the Most High in the Spirit and in truth, allow the truth of His words to sanctify you. Israelites, allow the truth to set you free. So shalt thou find favor and good understanding in the sight of God and man. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and lean not unto thine own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths. Be not wise in thine own eyes. Fear the Lord, and depart from evil.